we've got a story for you now that is positively Utah. A BYU athlete is now a national champion after an unforgettable comeback. Fox 13 News reporter Emily Tenser spoke with his friends and teammates on how much this win meant to them. And a national championship! How do you describe the moment when you witness your friend make history? Motivating, unbelievable, inspirational. School's out and summer is slow at BYU's campus, but this group of student athletes can't shake their pride for their university and fellow teammate. It was just electric. Everyone was on their feet, jumping around. It's Saturday night in Eugene, Oregon, and it's the 3,000 meter steeplechase at the USA Outdoor Track and Field Championships. BYU junior Kenneth Rooks is in the race. The 3,000 meters, it's just long enough, but also just short enough that, you know, with the right, ti with the right timing of a fall, uh, you know, that could be it for him. A little over two minutes in, Rooks falls. This is the danger of the steeplechase. They're bunching. Honestly, it was, it was like, a nightmare. It was like, this can't be really happening. But at the same time, I also couldn't picture a scenario where Kenneth didn't make it. He gets on his feet fast and books it for the finish line. The team's watch party can't contain their excitement. We were all screaming our heads off. We were so excited. I lost my voice. I'm still trying to get it back. He inches in the top three and finally first place. There were there were tears in my eyes and a couple of other people uh, just watching. I think especially for those of us that have known Kenneth a long time and just run with him every single day, done workouts with him, uh, know the kind of person that he is. Uh, it just is such a special feeling to watch. An unforgettable finish BYU will always remember. I'm going to look back on this and know that nothing is impossible. Any moment that you feel like you've fall on some proverbial hurdle, you can still come back and you can even win. Brooks did that in eight minutes and 16 seconds. That's 10 seconds faster than when he won the NCAA championship in Texas exactly one month ago. Reporting at BYU, Emily Tenser, Fox 13 News, Utah.